Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna to attempt to take out the front window in the VK. Now I'm hoping that it uh, is not too hard and it's very similar to the rear window. Let's see how we go. Now looking at this, we have that trim that goes around in the rubber. I think I'll get that out again. Uh, I called it a locking strip in the rear window, but I believe it is not a locking strip. It's just a trim piece. So I'll get that out and then hopefully the rubber goes a bit floppy in order to push it out. If I go inside here, we look at said rubber if we push that underneath that lip it should come out but I need to get rid of all this plastic that's guarding the dashboard so I'll do that and uh, start pulling out that trim piece oh and by the way I would like to get this glass out without breaking it We'll see if that is possible. Whether I use this one again or get a new one, I don't know, but if I don't break it, I've got more options. Well, as you can see by that piece, uh, that is very soft and very bendy. And I don't know whether that will go back into shape to go in there, but nonetheless, there's lots of dirt and grime in there and loveliness. Now, I will try and get on the inside and uh, push that lip through and hopefully reveal the window out. I guess we'll start with it, eh? Because I've got a seat. <laughs> Broke it. No good. I'll try not to break it any further. To Callan, I wish I, uh, just had to push the rubber to start with instead of trying to flex it, but that's what happens, I guess. Righto, this is just about to pop out. You can see by that. Now, I highly recommend you don't 
stick a screwdriver in like this and try and pry it up or you will do this see all those cracks you will ruin it so I don't recommend that but what I do recommend is getting inside the car and just give me a second these legs are too long put them down So there's your, there's your window lip there and your rubber sits over that. So what you do is just push it all the way along, just push it inside that lip, uh, all the way along there, along the top and down the other side. Don't worry about the bottom. That should come out when I take the screen out. And that will leave you with something like this. So if I just, I'm hoping that if I just lift that, pull it forward, that it's gonna come out and reveal all the rusty goodness. So let's do that. You ready? You ready? Me to crack it out and uh, try and get over those windscreen wipers. I should have taken them off, but Will they just go down here? Yeah, anyway. Alright, let's lift That came out pretty easy, but luckily I broke it beforehand because when I laid it down, it broke again. So if I hadn't have broken it the first time, I would be really pissed now, but because it's pre-broken, it's just gonna go in the rubbish. Ah, uh, look at that. Rusty, rusty goodness. Doesn't look too bad, oh my goodness. Look what I've seen up here. Looking right there. Can you get that? That is pretty bad. That is a lot worse than I was hoping. Bugger. All right, we'll come on the other side and look at uh, the rusty pillar on this side. This pillar is pretty bad. Um, it's pretty crusty in there, but other than that, not too bad. Oh, I'm just more worried about that. That's going to need a good chunk of repair. Look at the hole in that. And it's also going there. Dang! All right, looks like we have more rust repairs to do. Probably a couple of sections, I reckon. Uh, but that will all be in another video. I'm going to leave this one here, start repairing that rust, and you'll see that next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Ciao, ciao.